My brother has autism and is nonverbal, and I grew up feeling very alone and very frustrated. When I found out my husband had Alzheimer's, I realized that I really could no longer leave my husband alone, ever. We support family caregivers, um, so that's people who are taking care of a family member or friend living with challenges owing to illness, disability, or aging. The Alberta Caregivers Association is here to support caregivers and to help caregivers get the support that they need. Caregivers come from all walks of life. There's a lot of people out there who have no medical training, no background in this. You sort of have these ideas that it's, it's going to be fairly straightforward and it's going to be doing certain tasks, but it ends up being a lot more than that. If you're learning you know, how to give medication and, and things that nurses and doctors do and you become the physiotherapist and the occupational therapist and the nurse and take on all of these different roles without necessarily having any training. Long-term caregiving, it, it is very emotionally draining. You see people who um, are really focused on the person they're caring for and they don't take time for themselves. People caring 24-7 are going to burn out. Almost without exception, you can predict that. When really, if you have a little bit of emotional support and a little bit of encouragement, it can actually be a joyful experience to be a caregiver. Being a caregiver made me realize, like with many others, that caring for the caregiver is very important. And that's really what prompted us to start the Alberta Caregivers Association. We're an organization of caregivers for caregivers, and our focus is really on making sure that, that our programs and our supports are all really grounded in the caregiver experience and address the challenges that caregivers face. So we focus a lot on the emotional side of caregiving, you know, those challenges, connecting caregivers up so that they aren't becoming isolated, providing support in terms of helping find resources and navigate the system so that you aren't trying to do it all by yourself. Caregiving is just like a journey and it's like any other journey in life you need to prepare. So if a caregiver contacts us and is looking for some support, we have a number of different programs available. We have a caregiver advisor and they provide one-on-one -on -one support. So if people are looking to find a resource or just looking for someone to talk to, uh, they're a professional with some caregiving background um, who can help them. We also have group programs. So if you're looking to connect with other caregivers and, and more of an education side, um, we have the Compass program, which is eight weeks and it talks about what does it mean to take care of yourself and, um, and that's something that caregivers hear a lot but aren't really sure what, what to do. We also have the Ambassadors Program, which talks about, you know, how do you share your experiences or share what you're going through with others so that they can be more supportive um, to you in, in your journey. And then we also have the information sessions, and those are drop-in groups for caregivers, and they give them a chance to connect with, with others, but it's a little less formal. The focus is on taking care of yourself, being well, well enough to continue doing your role. So um, we don't talk about the, the disease or the illness of the person you're caring for or what they need. It's really on what do you need as a caregiver in terms of what do you need to stay healthy and, and be able to continue providing care. And the benefits are, are long lasting and we get wonderful, wonderful, amazing responses from our caregivers. Instead of caregiving being this awful, terrible chore, they start to see the benefits, how much they've gained, how close they are to the person they're caring for, and the change is just their perspective becomes much more positive, and you end up having these really happy, joyful people that see it as a choice rather than something they have to do. There's hope out there, there's help out there. Don't give up, reach out, and we'll be here for you.